Hey, I'm Destiny, and I also go by the Traveling Hair Boss, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, because my channel is about building our businesses, having multiple side hustles, and also self-care. And today's video is going to be a part of my hair business series, where I'm actually showing you the products that you can find on my hot tool vendor list. So I wanted to do this video because I feel like there's a lot of different vendor lists out there. And one, when you're buying a vendor list, you want to check and make sure the source is credible. And also you want to take a look and to see if the person has actually tried the products, even spoken with the vendor and actually can tell you anything about purchasing from them. So my vendor lists are a little bit different. I try to narrow them down to either five to six vendors that I tried and liked or that I personally want to try and heard great things about them. And if you don't know already, I do have a hair salon and I've been selling hair for, for it's been over a little bit over four years now. And I also went to China to source products back in October of 2019. So I'm going to show you some of the products that I ordered what, that I researched either in the States. And then one of them, which is this one in particular that I purchased while I was in China. So I'm going to go ahead and show you each of the products and certain things that you can look out for when purchasing. So we're going to start with the one that I got from China, which is this hot, which is this hot comb. And as you can see, it's just a regular standard hot comb. And one of the things you want to pay attention to when you're purchasing products, especially hot tools from China, is that you want to make sure it has the U.S. adapter. So that's this piece. So when I purchased it from China, they were selling it like this. And then I asked if they had any American plugs. And they said that I would have to do a, a personal custom order. But they did have these little things. So these are the adapters that they sell along with them. But you can get them with a regular American, American plug. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you that. So this is just a standard pressing comb, electric. It heats up. This one goes up to 450 degrees. It's perfect for my ladies who don't like a lot of bedazzle like the other items that I have. So yeah, you can typically find these for wholesale. I want to say normally they're about 19 to about 19 to 25 dollars. So the next one that I have, which this one is, this is, this one is my favorite. And this one I found just by doing research online and I thought it would be cute just to have. And I found that this one heats up to 480 degrees. So this one is perfect. And this one was a custom order. So it came with, so it already came with the standard American plug. So you didn't have to do anything special. So if you can see. And I'm going to show you the difference. So this is how it looks when you do a custom order. And this is how it came when I got it from China. So, so make sure you're speaking with your vendors about the different plugs. Because this is very important. Because you don't want to end up ordering a bunch of these wholesale. And then having to give your customer an adapter. Because one, it doesn't look as professional as if you just had one of these. So we're going to put that back. So the next thing that I have is a Bedazzle flat iron, which is also the Bling flat irons, which these ones, they're pretty good. It has the electric screen, which right now I don't have this one turned on, but it has the electric screen. This one also goes up to 480. One thing you want to pay attention to these is that when it heats up, these brine stones or bling stones, they do heat up as well. So it will get hot on your fingers. And the vendor, they do pretty good at sending, they send one of those hot, what is it, heat protector gloves. So you can wear it with that as well. But I do highly recommend this vendor. And when you customize your orders based on how many order, based on how many you order, they will customize the boxes for you. But yeah, this is uh, so yeah, this is one that I highly recommend. And for this one, you can see that the settings, because you know how on some flat irons, they'll have the settings right here. So when you're using it, you'll accidentally shut the shut the iron off. But with these ones, they have the settings on the in, inside. Not sure if you can see it with the video, but they are right here and also right here. So yeah, that's the bling flat iron. And one thing with my vendor list, like not everything has bling, like I said, like especially like with something like this, you can also get the plain flat irons. And I know most of the vendors, especially on the list, they have flat irons that heat up to 500 degrees as well. 
So last but not least, I'm pretty sure you all have seen these. And this is a curling iron. So this curling iron heats up to 480 degrees and it has detachable units so you can get different type of curl patterns. So all you have to do is press this button here and it'll pop out. And these are all the different curl patterns that they have. So they have this, this one for some cute spirals, and then the biggest one. And this one, this one is another one that comes with the option to have the boxes customized to your brand. And one thing I want to say with ordering products from China, one thing you want to make sure is that you're paying attention to the shipping costs. Because I believe that each of these units, they run, especially these three, they run about $20 to $30 wholesale. But if you're just buying one item, shipping could cost you on average $30. So if you don't want to go with the option to have bulk orders done, you can gather up a couple of orders from your customers. Like let's say if, you're one, if you want to order them in once a week, you can gather up those orders from that entire week. But also you want to keep your customers informed on what you're going to be doing. So that way it can keep shipping down for them and you as well. And it can increase your profit margin on them. So that is my video on the hot tools. And I'm going to try and do a video like this for all of my vendor lists. So if you want to see more of those, drop them in the comment section below. Let me know if you like this video or if you have any other suggestions on what I should do for any future vendor lists. Yeah, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on social media. I am Destiny Adams on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter or the Traveling Hair Boss, which is on Instagram and Facebook. So yeah, don't forget to stay tuned for the next video.